Hi guys, welcome to Eagle Jones Gaming Page. Today we will be doing the oh, walkthrough of Call of the Sea Chapter 4. Now this might be at the end of this chapter a very complex puzzle, but I'm going to try my best to see if I can solve it for you guys and explain it in the best way that I have figured it out and it makes sense in my eyes. Right, so we make our way up here. Giant diamond shaped thing really close from here. Before we go all the way up straight, I'm just going to turn around right here. There's a little puzzle right here that's very important to interact with. So you can just come here and interact with this little statue right here. And then we make our way back this way. So once you come here, there's two stuff that's needed to done. You need to give power to this whole section, and there's a little bit of a clue that is needed in this section right here. So once you come there, you'll see there's a power switch up there. I'm not going to make all my way up there. She is really slow on a ladder, but there's a power switch that we're going to have to switch on there when we have power. And there's one here, which we do not have power yet. So once you come here, you can interact with all these little uh, clues right here. Which is really really important to interact with the answer to my illness lies inside that temple nakal so this is like atlantis but in the pacific ocean right they built loudspeakers on top of this tower to reproduce the effect of the organ very clever old pal last picture right here no spirits are obvious in this photo what was wrong with Frank? He looks so thin. Right, once you come here, you will find out that Frank passed away. No. So you can interact I with Frank's so little sorry. wood stone there. Man. And he seemed to be a good friend of Harry's. You can interact with this oh, little picture Frank right here. Named Evangeline. What a darling. And there's a little... So Frank fought in the Great War medallion right there all right so we're not going to go immediately to this part all i want to show you to this part is we need this windmill to work for for us in order to give power to this whole section so we can't go there yet it's not going to be it's going to be pretty much pointless so what we do is we make our way to this area right here i'm going to quickly show you everything to interact with before we start with the puzzles so you come to this section right here you interact with those you interact with this one the most important part to interact with is this little symbol right here which she will be drawing for you in your notebook once that's done there's a little area right here i'm going to play this note this tone so long so you guys can hear and then there's a little note right here that's really important as well Right, once that's done you can come and interact with this little thing right here it's not gonna work there's no power yet we all know that so we're gonna come later on and pull this switch and give it power so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna immediately run to this side right here i like singing so much harry and i often sang together when my condition heavens looks like a rock slide crushed all the tents you can come and interact with this little puzzle right picture right here Remember what I told you guys in um, chapter 2 that it's not needed to interact, but you can just to know that the amulet is a protection amulet 
and the only person's tent that really got really protected was the person with the amulet. Just really cool to know. You can come and interact with this picture right here. Oh, I'm sorry, but art has never been your thing, old pal. Very cool note to find is the note right here. Very, very interesting note that you will figure out. You can just read it for yourself. Very, very interesting to know that part right there. And then there's a little box you can interact with right here. Alright, so now we're going to start with the puzzles. You can interact with this. You will draw in a notebook. So I have already done this chapter. I was not too happy about my first um, walk through so I redid it so all the notes of the whole chapter is here all that you will be having is this little note right here and at this stage you will have this little um, note right there so how this works is you have to look at the symbols and each symbol will sh appear on a side and that's the side you have to click on so this symbol is on the left side it fell down so that's the left side right there and we click it we're gonna make our way back up stairs and then we'll be doing the, th the second puzzle so we're gonna interact with that and then it's gonna give you this little picture right here and then it's down we're gonna do the same with both of those we're gonna look at the symbol and where it should be and place it on the right uh, area that symbol right there it shows to the right just remember to interact with the pictures as well so you can draw it in your diary the last one you can come here interact with on top and then this will open up the water and the windmill will have water so we can go to the, the the power puzzle so now we can make our way to the power And there we go, look at that cute one more. All right, so once we come here, you can interact with a few stuff here. There's a little item you can interact there with. A Bible, it must have belonged to Frank. And a very important note it was right there. Wound, but it kept getting worse. All right, so you'll see these are not working if you're at this stage. What you have to do is you have to have the windmill working and you have all of them have to face down so that they can interact um, and become one with the windmill so we're going to go from left to right and if you're on that side from right to left the closest one to the windmill so we're going to turn this panel until it's down we're going to switch this and you will see it will automatically connect with the windmill right there you do that with each one, it's supposed to be showing down the circle, the whole run this way, pull the lever, and then do that with the last one as well. Alright, once that's done, you will see there's no power yet. There's still a little puzzle that needs to be solved right here. Alright, so you will click on them and they will go individually out and light up. Um, but if you have started this way, the best way is only two buttons you have to press uh, that will activate all of them. Otherwise, you have to do the whole pattern. You have to press this button right here and that button right there and it's going to complete the whole thing. If you have already uh, tried it, just keep on going. You will find the pattern um, that how it needs to go. But that's the pattern it needs to go and then you just pull these two switches right here and then we follow the cable for the power so we're gonna go here to the right first we're not going up to the windmill yet we have to put on power first here otherwise you're gonna waste your time going up with the ladder a loving person but it takes a lot for him to open up all right, so we're making our way up here. And then we pull this lever right here. Well, what? Did I do something wrong? Come on, work. Come on. <laughs> Sorry. 
Alright, so there's not too much that will happen in this um, little dialogue, but I can, I'll can i show you what to interact with. So I'm not going to talk in this area, but you can interact with the stuff that I interact with and just oh. follow along. What's happening this time? Where are we? I can feel the fever rising. Oh God, no. My illness. Is it coming back? All the fish are dead dried in this this an ocean an ocean that dried up my cane no i would rather die than use that damned thing again these really are ancient bones a very ancient creature. They are so dry. I need to find water. Oh. My bed. How many times did I think I was going to die lying in this bed? I'd better find some shade before I dry right up. A horseshoe shaped pillar and that diamond shape again. I can't take much more of this. I feel woozy. house in Inglewood. Am I dreaming? Or am I just losing my mind? That's our mailbox, too. Uh, Harry? Uh, are you home? A picnic with Harry's brother and sisters. We started wearing gloves shortly after that day. I miss you so much, old pal. Definitely losing my mind. I don't understand what is happening, Harry. Are you? <laughs> Checkmate in three moves. Harry gave me this necklace after one of his scavenger hunts. It's a photo of my mother and me. She had just gotten worse from her illness. The happiest day of my life. And what? Ever heart to see. What a duo. My mother's music box. Cousin Robin? But I don't have any cousins. Once you're done, you interact with this little music box right here, and that will bring you back to the chapter that we need to be in. What a sweet melody. Alright, so we'll be coming back to this area where we were. We're going to wake up and then we're just quickly going to go put on power and then we're going to go to the next section, which will be the little bit more complex section. But I will try my best to explain it in a way for you guys that makes sense. I'm going to explain it in the way that it makes sense to me. And my music box again, but it wasn't broken anymore. And what a catchy tune. I'm not going back up there. Right, we're going to make our way up here again. So there's power up there. And then the last section we need to give power is right here. switch that on and then we're gonna go to the mic and she's gonna sing for us I haven't sung since I got sick but let's give it a shot I 
have to say this is actually one of the most beautiful moments in this this game for me. This is really amazing how the technology works in this island. It's it's amazing. It's actually mind blowing. Once we're done that here, you can come and interact with this little section that right the there and make your way like through the gate. Cool. So there's not too much we're going to interact here with until we get to the elevator. There's no there puzzles like in this little gold. area right here unless we go up. So there's nothing to interact there with. You can interact with the ladder the right the there. Probably caused by the rock slide. That must be the spot where they entered the temple. Are they bathing him? In black ooze. His hands are changing, like in my dream. Look at those spots. They look like mine. Now he's some sort of man fish. Fish of every size and shape. Alright, so that's basically, there's a few pictures here, and then after that we're going to go to the elevator right there. And that's the she puzzle I suppose most of I you think. really are struggling with, like I did. <laughs> but I think I have familiar. figured it out in a way that really makes sense to me. This looks like the um, same kind of elevator that was so in yeah, site. let's make our way up to this little elevator right here, and let's just chicken. dive into this little puzzle right here. Alright, so before we start with the puzzle, I'm just quickly going to show you guys everything to interact with. So we can come to this side right here. And then we will see all Henry's little notes lying down. In this little section right here. Well, this one was easy, I think. And there's a little dialogue right there. I will go into that right now. God's blood. Does does this mean that is this related to me somehow? To to my disease? So that's how you mark the symbol's orientation. I'm starting to understand this language. This one was really hard to figure out. Good job, Harry. Well done, Harry. Boy, am I lucky that you did the hard part of figuring things out. Got a little tone right there. John McCormack. All right, this. Alpha? Let's quickly go into this little um, scene right here before we continue. My dear old friend, Nora. I wish I could write something else, but a long time ago, I promised you I would never lie to you. So here goes. There is no cure for your illness. What you carry in your blood is changing you, and it will keep changing you until it's done, whatever that means. There is nothing we can do to stop it. My dear old pal, my partner, the love of my life, I am so sorry. I've made so many mistakes. All those deaths because of me. Frank, the wit, Roy. All for nothing. Maybe Tejaro is right. Maybe we can return to the beach and build a raft to get back to Papieti. Maybe in less than a month, I could be back. There's no cure? Once we're done with that, I'm just going to quickly turn that off. Water. We can come Did to this section where, where the you? last note I'm is. Sure that you didn't go back. I've seen this symbol in the mural several times. I guess it can be applied to both water and black ooze. All right. Then there's a little um, bottle you can interact with bottle. here that Henry threw against the, wall. Threw a bottle against the wall. And then this is the is most important part you know, that we need to be drawing right here. Pattern. And we can interact Sorry, with this little water symbol right there. All right. So what I did not do yet is we need to interact with every single picture or symbol right here on top 
so that we can draw them on our little diary. Alright, so once we have collected everything that is needed and you open up your notebook, this is what you should be seeing. Now this puzzle can be a little bit intense, it can be, um, you know, it's really hard to figure out because everyone is giving you the answers to the clues but they're not telling you how they got to the clues. A lot of people are talking about the starburst but they're not talking about how they figure out where the starbursts are and what it means. So I'm going to try to do today is try to sort explain this in a way to you that you understand that every single person that watches this video understands on how I solved this puzzle um, by getting the answers through the starbursts. All right. So if you look at this note right here, that if you have listened to all the dialogues, somewhere they will tell you that the starburst has turned around, that they all are not on the same location that they need to be. So basically all of them are not north anymore. So it shows it should be north, but it is in reality not north. Right. So what I did is I did a little bit of a drawing. I'll show you guys a little bit of a drawing right now. You gotta laugh at my pictures. I really try my best here. <laughs> All right. So if you look at this this way, this is what Henry has written for us. And if you look very closely, sorry, I haven't drawn the last um, symbol for eternal, which is that symbol right there. So what I did, okay, let me put it this way. What Henry did is he took all the clues around the room because you will see that each individual puzzle right here has one symbol. But what he did is he took all the symbols in the room and combined them to make them one big symbol. So what we're going to do right here is we're going to take individual pieces of the symbol and see on how many of these squares they are in. So to make it a little bit more of a better perspective for you, if you look at liquid, which is this symbol right there, which I just drew there, if you look at the picture he drew for us and made complete for us, you'll see there's one, two uh, symbols that replica um, his. So it's in um, square one and square three. So what you do is you look at the symbol right here, the starbursts are in one and three. That is why the liquid symbol, which is right here, is correct. It's showing north. So this is one, two, three, four. That shows north. Once you come to this um, symbol here, which is transformation. So when you look at this in my uh, drawing, you'll see transformation is only this symbol right here. So it only comes once in this symbol right here, which is two. So your starburst should be in dial two, which currently it's not in two right now. So what we have to do is we have to turn it around to show two. So if you look at it closely, you'll see it's in one, two, it's in three. So once you look on it at a sideways perspective, you'll see that one should be here, two should be here, three and four should be there. So once we move it to the north, then this is how you should look at it upside down. It should be one is there, two is there, three and four is right there. So we just rotated it to make it sense in a way that this is where north should be and this little um, squares have rotated. So once we come to the last two, we all have figured out that life and eternal are both the same, but we still have to look at them individually. All right, once we look at life right here, it's its symbol, which I drew right there. It, the tiles come in fourth in one, three, and four. 
but when you look at the the picture right here the puzzle right here it comes in one two and three and we want it in one four and three so if you look at the picture basically upside down your north is showing down which will make that one two three four so the tiles will be in one three and four which we want it to be in so what we do is we turn it all the way around and if you look at it upside down which i draw for you right here you will see that one two three and four are right there so the north position should show down now if you come back to eternal you will see the eternal pictures right there i did not draw it down i do apologize i don't know why uh, but you can see it right there so it comes forth in one two and four not one three and four so you'll see the little symbol right there so if you look at the picture uh, in reality it's not a one two and four it's in one three and four so if you turn it upside down once again you will see it also should show down like life um, to make it fit into one two four and then three is not supposed to be there so that means we have to turn it all the way down to show north so it's technically only the starburst has changed all of them are supposed to be showing north if you have went to, through all the clues it tells you that you have to move them all north now this really i really struggled a bit with this puzzle but i hope this explanation made it very simple to you guys i'm not trying to use any big words or anything like that i'm just trying to explain it to every single person that can understand this because some of them that really explains it to you made me feel really dumb <laughs> it made me not understand what's going on here i do not understand it made me feel super dumb but this is how i got to the solution let me know in the comment section guys if you agree with this solution yeah all right so once we've done that the doors will be opening for you and that is how this puzzle is solved so technically henry has solved all the clues for you you just have to make sure where the north direction is in this game uh, to be able to solve this puzzle but yeah let me know guys in the comment section if this was helpful for you i'm not using any big words or anything like that i want every person that's watching this video to understand uh, what i've done right there so yeah I hope you guys did understand that part and let's continue now this little last drum puzzle is really simple you just have to listen to the tones and apply them on how you hear them those are drums of some sort Top, right, left. Left, top, left. Twice, one, one. Alright, this is going to go into a cutscene. Um, I will continue recording, but if it doesn't show up too much, I will just cut this out. Um, don't want to spoil too much for you guys, but thank you for watching the video. I hope my puzzle made sense to you. It makes sense to me. Uh, please remember to go like the video, subscribe to my channel if you have not, 
and let's let's go guys i'll see you in chapter five be safe guys